good day to you and how you be, everybody. Johnny Agosto here and oh no, 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 no. Let's do this right. Good day to you and how you be, everybody. Johnny Agosto here and welcome to Taino Inc. Today we're gonna be talking about how to separate a screen printing design, how to separate colors. And I have a six color print I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna show you for beginners that are using Photoshop. Like I said before in my other videos, if you're starting to screen print and you wanna learn how to say, separate colors and get all the designs ready, the best um, software to use is Photoshop. Why? It's one of the best, one, and two, you could go to YouTube and you find thousands of channels talking about how to um, create, how to separate, how to even do oval things. There's so many things on YouTube. So when you go to, a, if you're gonna get a software, make sure that on YouTube, there's a lot of videos teaching you that. That's why Photoshop for me is the best. This is the one I use. I, everything I have learned was through YouTube and how to separate, how to create something, how to even edit a design, everything through YouTube. So make sure, go to Photoshop and start learning the basics and then watch people explaining how to do this, how to do that. Like in this video, I'm gonna show you how to separate six color print on Photoshop and it's mostly, it's perfect for beginners, okay? so. Let's get started here. <laughs> that was good, baby. Boom, boom. All right, something I see a lot in the comments. People ask me, do you separate your client's designs? Most of them I do when they send me an image, I separate it, but I have like maybe 20% of my clients that they create their own design and it's already come separated, which that's the best. I love those designs, but you're gonna have some designs that people just took from Google, send it to you, and you cannot separate it. You gotta see the resolution. It's a very low resolution, and now you have to vectorize it. And that's why you also have to have Illustrator. Now what you're gonna do is take the image to Illustrator, and you're gonna go to Image Tracing. And it's gonna give you a lot of options. It's gonna give you high fidelity options, low, three colors, four colors, 16 colors. And then it's gonna have the silhouette, black and white. What you're looking for is what, whichever one I pick, it has to vectorize it without distorting or changing anything in the design. You have to go through each one of them to see which one is best, the closest to keep it the same way it is but yes if you're gonna be separating colors 80 percent of your clients are bringing you images from google you have to not work with it low resolution is all pixelated you have to take it to illustrator i wonder why photoshop don't have just that part of vectorizing it i guess they know a lot of screen printers use Photoshop so they will just have to get Illustrator at the same time. Smart idea, because they have not put image tracing on Photoshop. All right, so let's get started. If you look at my image right here, it's already vectorized. There's six colors. You got the white, you got the black, you got the gold. You got the golden yellow, the red, and the blue. That makes it six colors. If you have six color press, you'll be able to get this job going. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is, you see that I already have here, the edit design, and then I have a copy of it. Because I wanna make sure that this one over here, okay, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna make the whole circle in white. I need that whole white because I'm printing on black, and I need that, all those colors, the golden yellow, the red, the blue, to pop out. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to filter, Built the gallery, and there it is. It's a full circle, as you can see here. That's it. That's 
the underbase. That's gonna be all white. I'm gonna flash and I'm gonna white again. Then the other colors go right on top of it. I'm gonna come and press OK. So there it is. There goes the white. Now, you don't want that white to show on top of, if you notice here, you got the gold. You don't want that white to show. So what I wanna do again is go back to my black right here, magic wand, click on it, right? There it is, it's highlighted. And I'm gonna go to, um, where is it at? Oh my God, select. I'm gonna go to modify and I'm gonna come and contract because I wanna hide that a little. And the number that works for me is three pixels. So I'm gonna put three pixels, I'm gonna press okay and you see the highlight is just cuts a little, so now that gold, when it goes over, you're not gonna see no white around it. It's just gonna be perfect, just like the logo. And then I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna copy. Now I have my image here. This one is done. I real quick, real come and delete it. Yes. Now I have the underbase. That's color number one. Going back to the colors now, now I'm gonna start separating the colors and all you're gonna use is this magic wand. This is the tool that you're mostly gonna use to separate colors. So now that I have my magic wand, I'm gonna start with black. I'm gonna get black, gonna highlight. Let me come over here. I'm gonna come over here, hit on the black. It's gonna hit every black, right click and press similar. And now highlights everything that is black. There goes the color you want. You're gonna right click. What you're gonna do is go down and layer via copy. Now, there goes all the black. Looking really good. The black is what's gonna really, once you start separating colors, if you, if you don't contract the way we did the underbase or expand, you're gonna see some white in between all these colors. The black is the best color so you could expand to cover. So now we're gonna come magic wand, highlight, similar all, see? And we're gonna go to select. And you're gonna go back to modify. And this time we're gonna expand because we want the black to cover these separations that we're doing. We want it to cover and not show no white in between the book of the line or anything like that. So you now you're gonna expand and you're gonna go three pixels, same thing, okay? Now it expanded just three pixels which is gonna cover our separation. So now we're gonna come right click and we're gonna copy. And there it is. Now we're gonna take that layer two and like I always do, I delete. So now we already got color number two. Now the rest of the colors, there's no modifying it. You're just gonna just separate it. So here we are, going back over here to this one, and we're gonna come and click, let's say, the golden yellow. See, golden yellow, highlight, go right click, similar. Now it got the golden yellow. You notice that it did not take the little gold because it's not the same color and we're gonna come and copy. There goes the golden yellow. We're going back over here. We're gonna click on the red, same thing. We're gonna similar, there goes all the red. We're gonna come and copy. Now we have the golden yellow and the red. We're gonna go back to our layer, highlight it. We're gonna click on the blue, highlight, Similar, now you got all the blue, copy, and there you go. Golden yellow, red, and blue is all done already. So we're gonna come back here now, and we are going to work on, we already got the um, golden yellow, right? Which is the golden yellow is the book. But now we're gonna come and click on that gold. 
Now it's highlighting all the gold which we're gonna do. So now what you wanna do, you see all the gold is highlighted, but there's some parts of the golden side that is half tones, it's a different shade. So what you wanna do is press shift and just keep clicking everything that's gold. Click, you see? You already has all the gold there. Click, make sure that everything is highlighted. We come to this goal here, let's highlight this goal. All of them are all highlighted. This one, now it's highlighted. Now you see all the goal highlighted. You see a little bit of this here. Just click on it just to make sure that it grabs the whole thing. Everything that's gold is highlighted. The yellow is still grabbing some of that golden yellow. We'll take care of that later. So now what we're gonna do is just come and copy. Now, we have all the gold. You see the gold here? You don't want these little lines here. So what I do usually, I'll take my eraser and I just start erasing. Make sure you don't touch your part of it and just get rid of it. Just get rid of it real nice here. Nice, nice, that's it. That's how you separate. Now we have the gold, we have the blue, we have the red, we have the golden yellow, and now we have the black. And remember, the underbase is supposed to be white, but there goes the underbase. That's the separation. That's the separation. If you're dealing with half tones in that image, the way we are doing now here, here we have the gold, which has half tones. It has to have a shade. You leave that one for last because that's the one that you're gonna come and now you're gonna make it into half tones, which is very simple. I have done videos of it. All you gotta do is take it, go to um, image trace, mode, grayscale, merge, discard. So now that it's already grayscale, I don't wanna bitmap what's the whole circles around. So all I wanna do, I wanna bitmap the inside. So I'm gonna come over here with my lasso tool and just nice and slowly, I'll fix it. I'm just showing you. Just come around. I just get very close and I won't even be able to touch none of the lines. I'm here just showing you real quick. And then I'm just gonna come and just cut that. Once I cut it, there it is. There goes the part here, I just have to clean this up. If I, wanna, if I wanna put it back, I'll fix it. I'm just showing you right now. And that's the one that you wanna bitmap. You got a image, mode, bitmap, okay. And there it is. What you do now is you're gonna take this film and you're gonna print that. You're gonna print that one and then after you print it, you're gonna come and edit, undo bitmap, come back, and now you're gonna come and click this here and open that, and then you're gonna print that one. It's not gonna let you print that one not normal and then the other one. Your printer, your fill, my, my printer does it. I print it and then I'll print this one. And now you have all the image, though this is not bitmap, only the half tone part. And that's how you separate. That's how you do colors even with half tones in it. Just show you that little extra. I didn't even know that it had half tones. But on the next video, I'm gonna show you when I print the film, how it looks, how to um, expose it and set it up and how it's gonna look. So, if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God mm, take you on the right. Peace out. Oh, by the way, when I was separating the half tones of the gold, I forgot to, on the circle, to separate the mask. I didn't click. You gotta always watch those little details, but look at it right here. This one and this one, it creates then that image 
right here. I didn't get these, but make sure that you get every little detail, man. All right, later.